Genesis Global Capital has filed a legal action against Gemini, claiming over $689 million in illiterate preferential transfers. The dispute stems from the collapse of FTX in November, which led to legal battles and regulatory scrutiny. Genesis alleges that Gemini exacerbated market volatility by making substantial withdrawal demands, causing harm to other creditors. The lawsuit targets transactions in the 90 days leading up to Genesis bankruptcy filing in January. Genesis alleges that Gemini was aware of its precarious financial position when it insisted on repayment. The legal dispute traces back to bankruptcy of crypto hedge fund Three Arrows Capital, which caused a loss of customer trust and liquidity issues for Genesis and other cryptocurrency lenders. The lawsuit reveals over $765.8 million in net transfers from Genesis to Gemini in September and October 2022, raising questions about preferential treatment that Genesis claims should undergo legal scrutiny. Gemini denies any improper in its actions leading up to Bartner's bankruptcy and seeks compensation for losses incurred during the tumultuous period. Coinbase, a prominent U.S. crypto exchange, is focusing on establishing clear regulatory guidelines in the cryptocurrency industry following the SEC recent actions against Kraken. The exchange's legal team responded to an SEC letter on November 22, highlighting the need for clear regulatory frameworks. Coinbase has been seeking comprehensive regulations for digitally native securities since July 2022. The SEC's promise to deliver a report on crypto rulemaking by December 15 is met with dissatisfaction from Coinbase, who argues that SEC's actions, including Kraken's recent actions, demonstrate a reluctance to establish firm regulatory standards. The SEC's impending decision on a Bitcoin exchange-traded fund could significantly influence the mainstream adoption of cryptocurrencies. Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong emphasizes the importance of adherence to legal and compliance standards, even if it means sacrificing growth pace for the long-term success of the cryptocurrency industry. Binance, the world's largest crypto exchange, has announced plans to delist Bitcoin and Ethereum cross-margin and isolated margin pairs from November 28. This move is part of Binance's efforts to address legal challenges in the digital assets industry. Isolated margin borrowing on these pairs will be suspended, followed by closure of auto-settled user positions and cancellation of pending orders on December 7. This decision follows allegations by US SEC, which previously classified BUSD as security. Both Pexos and Binance halted for the minting and circulation of stablecoin. CZ, the founder of Binance, has stepped down from his role as part of a broader agreement with US Department of Justice to settle criminal charges against the exchange. Richard Teng has been named as the new CEO. In the upcoming segment, we will update you about the following news. $9 million in tether seized by feds in Silicon Valley, Nansen data. Crypto community holds strong after Binance TOJ settlement. Bitcoin investors show confidence as 70.35% of Bitcoin supply stays unmoved. Stay tuned for more updates.